Alright, so I'm on my way to Sandown and I wasn't going to take the video equipment today because I've literally just pumped out three massive videos and I've got a fair bit of fatigue. However, there's an opportunity after the race to go to a kebab shop. And I thought to myself, it's pretty unique. Go smash out a crit race and then go eat a kebab. So I decided to bring the camera and share with you what it's like to rip out a crit race and then smash down a kebab. Are you blokes coming to the kebab shop? I think so, you're not coming? Are you racing tonight, Tommy? No, no, I'm not racing tonight. I've got to come down and marshal. Yeah? And I also want to just make sure this guy's not up to no good. Who's this guy? We're going to go down to Oakley. For a well, few what's happening in Oakley? I've... It's the oh, home of the kebab. The Oakley's yeah, the home of the kebab. Is that really why you've come down? Pretty much. Yeah, it is actually. Kebab and a donut. We'll go down there. Oh, hopefully. donut too? Yeah, I'll like donuts. Yeah. <laughs> donuts. There's donuts next to the kebab shop. Right, right next to the kebab shop. So that's what we're going for. Hopefully it's a good turnout. Because we don't really have the light to be able to do a send off for everyone for the right. end of the season so it's a bit of a end of um you know oh, so everyone, you anyway, everyone's invited. welcome oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. come yeah, down yeah, okay. get as yeah. many people down yeah. there from the club as we can yeah nice yeah. how many can they fit in the restaurant we've got no idea <laughs> as many as we can as many as we can i'm looking forward There's to it One, two, three, four. Tell me what happened. Uh, it was a pretty hard race, nice and windy. Split up early. We had three of us in a group of four, and uh, luckily slipped away at the end and then all jumped across to stay away. The punch really didn't sit up, so they didn't make it easy for us, and we had to swap off really hard all day and uh, yeah, it worked out quite well in the end. How do you feel? Yeah, it's good. It was easy for me. I just had the other three boys up the road so I could just sit in a bunch and take it fairly easy and just uh, have a go on the sprint at the end, so it was good for me. What about you, Dave? <laughs> I'm so good. Are we there? Yeah, very happy. Yeah. One, two, three, four for the team. It's better than we hope for. Let's see what I'm at. So this is the tail end of a massive peloton on Dandenong Road. It's a massive peloton is heading to a kebab shop in Oakley. Me is like it is. We've been here five years now. Uh, started in January 2013. We're probably one of the, the most famous Lucky Bar in Melbourne. Yeah, right. Uh, we do over four or five thousand customers a week. Wow. Yeah, we cook our soup like on charcoal. Did you know you've become popular amongst the Portfield Carnegie Cycling Club? There you go. We're, we'll become more famous. We'll have to expand more. Yeah. Like uh, as you see, we've got two sites. Uh, one across each other, and we've got all the seating in the middle of the mall. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does get very busy, and that's why we've got the two sides. Yeah, Tix, who's the president of Corporal Carnegie, one, he's wondering if you've got enough produce tonight for the cyclists out there. A hundred percent, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. If you go in the side of the other store, we're cooking all our meats, you'll see there's plenty of meat cooking on charcoal. There's yeah, plenty nice. there. All right, mate. Plenty. Yeah. We won't disappoint you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure you get one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Hi, Rod. Right. I get it. Pick up the Yoki, mate. Yeah. I'll grab the V, V. Let's go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, very proud. <laughs> Come on, give me something. What did you reckon? No, nah, it was good. It was very exciting. Yeah, what was exciting about it? Um, seeing four of our boys take out take out the top four places. Yeah, nice. Seeing them all work together. What about you, Cam? Oh, I was pretty exciting um, watching Patrick Lane come over the line first after he's been looking after the young boys all summer. So yeah, our ninth, ninth individual separate winner for an A grade crit in St Kilda, Carnegie or um, Hawthorne for the season. How do, you, how do you rate the crit season this year? I don't know how we go numbers wise, it's always pretty popular. So even years ago the crits used to start um, around about cup weekend. Yeah, okay. And now... Uh, because daylight saving has changed, yeah. everyone's kind of followed suit because of the extra light. Right. And it sort of starts a weekend after the grand final. Yeah. Okay. So over the years it's progressively gotten a little longer and longer. What's the next big thing for the club? We run Anzac, Anzac Day. Yeah. Uh, What's happening at Anzac Day? Anzac Day, as we usual in any sport, you're not allowed to start till after 1 pm. Yeah, okay. And the A grade race will be the length of the amount of years after um, oh, right. uh, cool. after Anzac Day itself. So yeah. each year it gets a kilometre longer. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, Which Apple Street? Or yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, uh, well, people are just excited and in a hurry to get their super. Some are hungry. <laughs> it's been a long day at work. But also this year we're riding the uh, Northern Combine through the winter. Northwood we'll haven't done Northern Combine in recent years, have they? Never. 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 We've always sort of run our own races, but... So why have you jumped on it this year? Well, first of all, I think people enjoy racing when there's a relatively decent sized field. Yeah, okay. Trying to run club racing now becomes increasingly difficult. All I identified last year was that Queen's birthday weekend, the Gippsland Tour had 14 guys in A. Yeah. Benigo had 16 in A, and the Northern Combine one had about 15. Yeah, okay. To me, it's silly that you don't get together and yeah. try and run races. Each week one of the clubs takes a turn at running the event. Yeah. You try and run it really well. Yeah. But I like the idea of the clubs working together and sharing uh, the work around to run races because trying to do it yourself each week is difficult. Uh, they're cheap, they're $2 ones. They're only $2 ones. $2 dollars. That one's usually, this one, $3. Well, I wouldn't be really mad too much with that blue rinse through the top of the feathers, but anyway. <laughs> oh, go on. Give it, give it to me again. What did I miss? No, you Tell missed. us what's going on in the crowd. <laughs> what year were you in the national team? 91. There you go. 90, 91. So I was a junior, 91. and he was in the national team. He was a nasty, bad man. Ice <laughs> 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 Make sure I'm feeling right. <laughs> so not again, I have flashbacks. <laughs> Early. And I'll get him now on camera because this is a true story. Okay. You know how Robbie Crow is a big, burly, strong yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. One night in a two up. At, at VFL Park, Marcel turned to Robbie and he said, Robbie, you dare try and roll me in the finish and I'm going to the back of my car and get a baseball bat and I'm going to wrap it straight across your knees. <laughs> Robbie did not sprint him, Marcel took the chocolates and afterwards, he, Robbie, you know, 6'4", massive yeah. strength, wilder beast of a man, started sooking about how he was threatened by Marcel to get his knees taken off with a baseball bat. They were both in the, they were both in the national team. So imagine what he did to a junior kid yeah. <laughs> on restricted gears. <laughs> I, I ate more grass than Don Burke growing up with him. <laughs> Nothing to make me more happier than having to feed him soup in a hospital bed. <laughs> Everybody's 